To clear up some of the confusion is Jennifer Cannon Unioni, a trial attorney here in Seattle and partner at the law firm of Dixon and Cannon. Thanks so much for being with us. We always love having you. Good morning. It's great to be back. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got so much to ask you about yeah. this. I mean, can you give us a basic overview of the distracted driving law? Yes, yes. So bottom line, you cannot hold that cell phone in your hand anymore while you are driving. And driving is, even when you're stopped at that stoplight or you're stopped in traffic, which is really hard here in the Seattle area with all the congestion, but you really can't do it. It's a primary offense. The officer can pull you over and it's any kind of electronic device capable of wireless communication. And if you have it on that dashboard, you can activate it really quickly but that's really all you can do. You can't surf the internet. You can't check something. You need to find where you're going. You need to pull safely over the roadway, put in your coordinates with the GPS, then get back on the roadway and go about your way. It's that second part, uh, the second section, which is a secondary offense. They can't pull you over for it, but it is this, dry, you cannot engage in any other activity that is considered dangerously distracting. But what is that? Like yeah. sipping on coffee or eating a cheeseburger? Or you having know, a I toddler mean, in the car? Right. That could be dangerously distracting. I, I think a lot of people on Facebook, especially on our social media accounts, they're really like, what does this mean? Yeah. Well, and it is confusing and people have a right to be confused because the law is really not clear. What is dangerously distracted driving? There's no list that you can go to that says, okay, if you engage in this activity or that activity, then you're okay. It's really up to the, the uh, officer's subjective belief mm. of whether or not he feels as though your activity is dangerously distracting to your driving. Here's what I can tell you though. If you are actually driving on the roadway, you've got your eyes uh, straight ahead and you're taking that sip of coffee or you're, you're taking a bite out of that donut or you're, you know, it's the summertime, you're having some fruit or something, but your eyes are on the roadway and there's nothing wrong with your driving, you're perfectly you're fine. fine. So don't worry about it. Perfectly fine. But if you are caught on the phone and they pull you over, they could say, are you eating rainy or cherries right now? What are you doing? Good example. So, so yeah, if, if you're, if whatever the activity you're engaged in is distracting your driving and you're weaving or you're doing something else, you're following too closely or you get into a, a collision, then the officer can pull you over for the independent reason, which is the primary offense, right. and then add on this secondary offense, which is $99. Yeesh, so you're so. talking big bucks. Speaking of money. Big bucks. How does this affect insurance rates? Will they go up? So this is what most people are really not talking about. The insurance industry lobbied for this and it's a big win for them. We talk $136 for the primary offense and 99 for the add-on, but you are probably looking at an increase in your insurance sure. rates because it is a it is now a moving violation. It goes on your record and it depends on your policy and your coverage on whether or not they're going to, but I'll bet they will. Oh it, dear. What does it go under? Is it like a DUI E or something? Or I mean, do you know, cause when you see, cause I, when I read about it, I see sure. like DUI, mm -hmm. you know, so it always makes me like, what? what it, it, yeah. it, it, look, the acronyms look very similar. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, but it is just an infraction. Okay. It is considered a moving violation okay. and it then could increase your insurance rates, just like a speeding ticket. Wow. So, yeah. And it's one of the few states in the nation that has such strict laws, so we really will be what so many other places are going to be looking to for results. Really, and the the, the financial is what I think going to impact people in incredibly, yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right, yikes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, <laughs> for being so here this morning. Oh thank my you. goodness. Yes. Eyes on the